Vicki's traveled around the world with every mayor that she served and made a name for Salt Lake City as one of the most progressive, environmentally sustainable and resilient cities in the world. Vicki is well known. She's received so many accolades locally, but really across the country and beyond. And I think that her legacy is known uh, far beyond Salt Lake City and the benefit, the environmental impacts for sure are going to outlast all of us. Vicki was extraordinary. She was committed. She was highly competent, very conscientious, and always a real joy to work with. We were always on the same track, and I laid out a very ambitious agenda and was always adding to it. And she never complained. Not only did she not complain, it seemed like she embraced the job with real gusto. And we became uh, the city with the most comprehensive environmental and especially climate protection programs in the country. She shaped things by being so capable and getting things done as much as anything else. And, you know, as, as someone in office who was looking to really push the envelope of what we could do, um, and the whole range of sustainability matters. She had to reach a long ways, you know, to help figure out and how to get things done. And, and she was terrific at it. Well, I think we're all very fortunate that Vicki pursued the career steps that she took uh, to help lead our state, uh, not just our city, but our state uh, into doing what is right on behalf of the environment. And we will all be very, very grateful to her leadership, to her mentorship of her team and the, the new leaders that will rise in that team and continue her legacy and the work that's been done. Um, but I know people all across this country are very grateful that she stepped up and led when she did and how she did. And we're all going to be better for it. There's not a solar project, an electric vehicle charging center, a clean emission technology built into our buildings, a net zero fire station, our clean airport that's happened. There's nothing in this city that is environmentally sustainable that doesn't have Vicky's fingerprints on it. So I can't name a single thing that will be emblematic necessarily of Vicky's time with us because it's everything.